Um, you know that pressure, like when you're way behind schedule and you're running out of time? I felt that. I was 32 years old, I had a two-year degree, I was working in high tech. And I knew I needed a four-year degree to advance. Now luckily, my employer covered 100% tuition reimbursement. I had no excuses. I knew I needed to act, and I needed to act fast. I had two options. I could go to the University of Southern Maine in Portland, it's literally four minutes from work, or I could go to Wentworth in Boston, literally a four-hour commute. And Wentworth was three times more expensive. So of course, I chose Wentworth. <laughs> Look, I'm no math wizard, but if something costs three times more than something else, it's gotta be three times better, right? I mean, that seems like basic math to me. But there was a problem. Wentworth wanted me to take a pre-calculus class first. I wanted to take two computer classes. They reluctantly agreed to let me take all three at the same time. Now, sure, you know, I was on the hook for over $3,000, and I was working full time, but I just needed passing grades in order to get the reimbursement. And besides, I mean, we're not talking calculus here. We're talking pre-calculus. <laughs> so I walk into the pre-calculus class for the first time. It's completely full. There's no seats. I notice there's three people standing against the back wall, so I joined them. A minute later, professor strolls in. He's like, I'm really sorry. Class is overfilled. If you don't have a seat, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave. Now those three people standing next to me, they reluctantly leave. I don't budge. I don't budge. And he's just looking at me before he says anything. I'm like, hey, man, I need this class. Like, I, I, I will lose $3,000. I'm not leaving. I can't leave. I need this class. And he leaves. He actually leaves the classroom. And he comes back like a minute later. And he's got this little tiny desk from somewhere. And he sets it down for me. And he says, I give an entrance exam before this course. You have an hour but you gotta show all your work. Now within 30 minutes, most of everyone is finished with this thing, but not me. I take the full allotted hour. Break rolls around, he's got the papers graded, he's handing them out to everybody, and he hands me mine. And on the top of it, there's this big red circle, and inside the red circle, there's this big red 50. Now I don't know if you've all taken pre-calculus, but that's not very good. <laughs> it's not. He kind of leans in, he points on my paper, he's like, you know, it's kind of interesting. I can actually follow most of the logic here in your work. It's creative, I'll give you that. <laughs> but it's voodoo math, son, you can't just go making up your own rules. And he heads back to the front of the class, stopping to talk to two other students along the way. Now he gets up to the front of the class, on the blackboard, he draws this big ass bell curve, right? and it's got like percentages in it. And he points to the far left-hand side of this bell curve, and he says, this is just statistics. If you scored a 70 or less on this test, you have an 8% chance of passing this course. Now, if you find yourself in this category, I strongly, strongly recommend you get up, you go across the hall, you take the Algebra II refresher course. And with that, those two other students, they got up and they took off. Again, I don't budge. And he's just looking at me, still kind of pointing at the 8%. <laughs> and I'm like, 8%? He's like, yeah, 8%. And I'm like, I kind of like my odds. <laughs> he, said, he said, well, you better buckle up, son. You're in for one bumpy ride. So I get home that night. I'm disappointed in my score, obviously. And I decided to dig out my old math transcripts. It had been a while. And uh, I'm seeing C's and D's. I'm like, I do not remember getting these. <laughs> and then I remembered why I didn't remember weed, <laughs> which probably explained the creativity earlier. <laughs> anyway, we, we start in on chapter one. And uh, it takes me like three hours uh, to do the examples in the back. But I get them done. And I'm like, okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. 
until he says, all right, everybody, we're going to just skip right to chapter 6. <laughs> Evidently, chapters 1 through 5 were review material. To say that the next couple months were a bumpy ride is a friggin' understatement, okay? I'm like trying to learn chapters 1 through 5 on my own while simultaneously trying to learn chapters 6 through 10 with the rest of the class. And I had those two other courses. Thanks. <laughs> I'll just leave it at this. I wish I could tell you guys what I got for a final score on the final exam. I don't remember. <laughs> what I do remember is that was the day I became an official member of the 8% Club. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I got my degree. <laughs>